We all understand that our planet has sent us a message. We simply must reduce the amount of carbon we emit into our atmosphere. We are led to believe, and most commentators agree, that if we fail to act, the consequences will be significant. This challenge is now a matter of global concern, with each geography handling their own objectives and targets. To one common goal, carbon reduction. produce 1.1 million hybrid cars. 418,000 of these vehicles were micro-hybrids. By 2013, this figure is estimated to grow from 1.1 to 17 million vehicles. 13.6 million of these will be micro-hybrids. If these figures are believed, then this represents a new marketplace which offers a staggering 3,200% growth across Europe. In the same period in the UK, we can estimate approximate requirement of 1.7 million batteries and growing with an estimated market value of 170 million pounds. One important message is, these vehicles will need replacement batteries today. And we, as the aftermarket leader, must be ready to service this demand. These vehicles need batteries now. They will need batteries tomorrow, and we are your partner to ensure you are ready to meet the demands of the changing marketplace. The new micro-hybrid technology brings new demands on the battery. No longer is the traditional flooded battery sufficient to withstand these demands. In place, Exide Technologies has moved up to the crease and developed the Exide micro-hybrid solution. As may be expected, both batteries incorporate advanced technologies for specific micro-hybrid requirements and should not be confused with the standard automotive battery technologies. Key factors must be considered when we talk about micro-hybrid vehicles with stop-start and regenerative braking systems. Both systems put extreme demands on the motor vehicle's electrical system. Extreme cycling applications are the negative effects of continuous load on the battery from starting operations. In the case of stop-start conditions or the case of regenerative braking, the battery has the additional challenge of being required to operate in a partial charge condition normally unsupported by traditional automotive technologies. Exide Microhybrid AGM is developed in partnership with the major European car manufacturers for premium microhybrid applications. The Exide Microhybrid AGM incorporates the most advanced original equipment technology available, providing optimal performance in extreme cycling applications with high charge acceptance and partial state of charge operations. The Exide Microhybrid AGM offers extreme endurance under low conditions with more than 75% positive electrical cycle durability when compared to a standard automotive battery. Benefiting also from advanced safety features which are required for batteries held within the passenger compartment. These include a hermetic sealed lid with valve regulated lead acid or VRLA pressure control and high gas recombination properties which returns the ever-present acid vapor back into the sealed unit as electrolyte. The Exide Microhybrid ECM battery is the perfect fit for entry-level microhybrids, vehicles that have stop-start systems. Also designed in conjunction with the major European car manufacturers, the Exide Microhybrid ECM incorporates original equipment technology, optimized for microhybrid cycling resistance at high temperature, offering maximum flexibility and good heat-resistant properties required for engine compartment fitment. The Exide microhybrid battery range is now available for the UK aftermarket. Both technologies are currently being delivered to original equipment manufacturers for microhybrid applications. For the Exide microhybrid AGM, 
Exide supplies BMW for its efficient dynamic series and has been awarded contracts with other European vehicle manufacturers for models that will be launched shortly. The Exide ECM technology, the company supplies the Fiat Group, Fiat, Alfa Romeo and Lancia. Also Toyota for their micro-hybrid vehicles. Exide Technologies were also awarded contracts with international vehicle manufacturers for the EU market with this technology and has joint development agreements in place with most EU car manufacturers for the supply of both products.